concerning a super volcano in the United States. Experts warned a new threat is rising up beneath the U.S. and it's a relative of Yellowstone. Scientists warned a distant relative of Yellowstone supervolcano brewing beneath the U.S. unearthed accounts reveal. Now we know we have a lot of supervolcanoes in the, the United States. Yellowstone, one of the biggest, and we have the uh, Long Valley Caldera in California. And we have the uh, Arabasca area of Yellowstone. We also have other ones around Texas and New Mexico. And we've also had another one in the area of Quebec. Now, volcanic eruptions have unsettled human civilizations for thousands of years, such as the infamous Mount Vesuvius eruption of 79 AD, and that buried the ancient city of Pompeii, meters of volcanic ash and pumice. More recently, the eruption in Tonga, it was a submarine volcano, in January blasted ash 60,000 feet, that's 18,000 meters into the sky. It obliterated a volcanic island, the eruption, which killed at least five people, described as a once-in-a-thousand-year event, and it's expected to rank as high as five on the Volcanic Explosivity Index. Supervolcanic eruptions, in the meantime, measure the most eight on the VEI Index, the highest possible value. The, they erupt around every 17,000 years and are approximately a thousand times more powerful than Mount St. Helens eruption of 1980, the deadliest in the U.S. recorded history. Now, uh, we know that the last super volcanic eruption we had was about 27,000 years ago. So uh, if they erupt about every 17,000 years, we're perhaps 10,000 years overdue. The last super eruption happened in the uh, North Island of New Zealand, New Zealand, the Mount Tapo volcano. Now, there are around 21 known super volcanoes on Earth, including Yellowstone in the U.S., Lake Toba in Indonesia, Lake Tapo in New Zealand, as we know, the, the latest eruption, super eruption. A breakthrough 2018 study revealed a new supervolcano may be brewing beneath the United States of, yes, the East, Ma Massachusetts, Vermont, and New Hampshire. Now we know that Maine has five volcanoes, a hundred of, uh, 10 of them in the 100 mile radius. So this is, uh, and I'm going to show you the recent uh, earthquakes that we have in the east. They may be small, but they're still there. Now, a paper in 2016 initially concluded that there is an active independent upwelling of molten rock below the surface, known as a North Appalachian anomaly. Scientists at Rutgers University used two years of data off the back of the 2016 study and they established a better idea of what was brewing underneath there. Professor Vadim Levine, geophysicist, told Fox News, the upwelling we detected is like a hot air balloon, and we infer that something is rising up there, the deeper part of our planet under New England. Now, when I was doing earthquake reports on New England, there were people that were telling me that they were nature lovers and they used to take walks around there, uh, all these beautiful lakes that we have, beautiful lakes surrounded by uh, mountains, these, a lot of them, for example, in Maine, uh, these are areas of volcanic lakes. Now, they're very old, of course, but they're there. And uh, they uh, left me comments saying that sometimes they would smell something like methane gas. And it could be that they were volcanic gases or earthquake gases, let's put it that way. Now, the region in which uh, here it says they made their discovery is geologically stable and has no active volcanoes, but they are old, of course. The magma buildup, therefore, is relatively recent in terms of the Earth's geological process, tens of millions of years, in other words. Professor Levine continued, it will likely take millions of years for the upwelling to get where it's going. The next step is to try to understand exactly what is happening. And he said, it's not Yellowstone-like, but it's a distant relative in the sense that something relatively small, no more than a couple of hundreds of miles across, is happening. And let's keep in mind that you have a tremendous Yellowstone-sized um, uh, supervolcano in the area of Montreal, Quebec, and all that. Now, just because it's across the border in Canada doesn't mean that it's not close to the eastern United States. Now, the magma bubble 
may never eek, leak its way into the surface, but if it does, it's likely to take a very, very long time. And uh, Professor Levin told National Geographic in 2018, maybe it did not have time yet, or maybe it's too small and will never make it. Come back in 50 million years and we'll see what happens then, he said. Supervolcanoes occur when the magma in the mantle rises into the crust, but it is unable to break through. The pressure builds up in a large growing magma pool until the crust can no longer contain the pressure. And when that happens at hot spots, for example, where Yellowstone caldera is, or at subduction zones where Toba is, or of course, all the high threat volcanoes on the Western United States, uh, they do erupt and they can cause long lasting climate change and threaten species with extinction. In 1815, eruption of Mount Tambora caused the year without a summer and was the most powerful volcanic eruption in recorded human history. With a, a recorded VEI of seven, any potential super eruption would be 10 times more powerful than Mount Tambora. And the most recent super eruption was New Zealand's Tapo super volcano approximately 26 and a half thousand years ago. Most of New Zealand was affected by ashfall with an 18 centimeter layer left at the on the Chatham Island some thousand kilometers away. Now, how humanity might respond should such an event happen again is not clear, but scientists have indicated we may not get a huge amount of notice when the next super eruption is coming. Now, we know from what our anthropologists have told us, because from the past articles and videos I did on Mount Tapo supervolcano, they estimated that only about 2,000 humans were left after that. It was an almost extinction level event. So an average of what, a thousand couples worldwide, they estimated. That was really a drastic thing. Now, Earth scientist Lucia Carici told a study published in PNAS last year, our study also shows that no extreme events occur before a super eruption. It suggests signs of an impending super eruption, such as a significant increase in earthquakes or a rapid ground uplift might not be as obvious as pictured in disaster movies by the film industry. Other analysis of Yellowstone, though, have suggested magma reservoirs can reach eruptive capacity within decades, which scientists would likely detect. Now, I'm going to go, well, let's go and see what's happening with the Canadian um, map, so you can see, because the uh, USGS, oh, uh, this is the site of Berkeley, as we see, they only have the one week, uh, this is just now happened, 4.1 pinnacles. Pinnacles, as we know, is the uh, area that we have the, let's put on our uh, tectonics, San Andreas Fault meeting the Hayward Fault. Okay, that's a big earthquake, and uh, it just now happened, so we don't know how many people reported it. 58 reported it, I would venture to say a lot more will report it. Uh, I'll, do a, I'll do another video on this just now, but um, uh, Let's go to our earthquakes here. This is only the past week. And we'll see that they don't have, uh, okay, Montreal, that's where I used to live, 2.3 uh, a couple of days ago. And this is in Maine, 2.1, okay? Uh, this was on the 8th of March. But going to the Canadian map, you can see what's happening here. Okay, this is all the activity on the East Coast, you have it along the Great Lakes. I did uh, various uh, past videos on the Great Lakes having a mantle plume under there. That has been there since about a billion years. They don't know where that mantle plume is originating from, but it's a horse-shaped thing. And um, it goes into the western part, goes into here, Nebraska, uh, uh, Oklahoma, Kansas, and then turns west uh, from Texas to New, New Mexico. And the eastern part, it's like a horseshoe shape. The eastern part goes along the Appalachians, New Madrid seismic zone, which is a rift valley. Because the United States is basically cutting into three parts. The eastern part going this way, the area here in the Great Plains. Uh, we know that Lake Superior was one point very flat close to Wyoming. This area of the Great Plains is stretching because there's magma underneath. Okay, that's why this uh, continental area is stretching. So this is the area of Maine. Um, oh, sorry, I did, I did something wrong. Uh, I want to go in more. Okay, 
Um, so here we are. Maine. Uh, five volcanoes in Maine. And sorry, I just wanted to I want to show you that we also have here we have 30 under uh, uh, submarine volcanoes. 30 submarine volcanoes here on the east coast, all pointing towards the uh, eastern area. So this area here, um, as we know, it's, a, it's, it's there's magma under there. And wherever you have rivers, you have fault lines. But we have the Rift Valley has magma underneath. And um, we shouldn't be surprised that we have uh, volcanoes that we don't know of, but Maine has five, okay, since very, very uh, uh, way back. And this is the area of another Quebec, Montreal. I used to live there. That's where I finished high school, and hence my accent. <laughs> All right, so um, this is another area of a supervolcano. But not many people are... Uh, harping on this, they don't really uh, go into that because they're more aware of what's happening on the East Coast. So uh, that's it for this. This is where the supervolcano, they believe, is to be forming. Magma there, we shouldn't be surprised because of the fact that we have the undersea water volcanoes, 30 of them right here. So please leave your comments and thank you for your support support my patreon account the daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what i have on my youtube channel thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting you'll find the patreon account details in the description box below